All right, so looking at 3.6.6, uh, Sporting Goods Shop, let's look at the assignment. It wants us to write a program that asks the user how many Frisbees they want and then prints out that total cost. So it tells us we want to have a uh, constant variable at the top called const of Frisbee instead of equal to 15. And so let's go ahead and uh, knock this out. So declare a constant here to represent the cost of a Frisbee. We are creating a const variable because this is not going to change. So let's go ahead and do um, const. Then we'll do cost of Frisbee. They want us to write it this way. Um, <clears throat> SBE. All right, we're going to set it equal to 15. Again, we don't put the dollar sign. We will add that with a string uh, in the end. So const of Frisbee equals 15. And then it says it wants us to ask the user how many Frisbees they would like and then print off the total cost. So here is my function. Uh, again, the start function is just created, so uh, you don't have to run it. The start keyword will automatically run the function when you click uh, the refresh button. So let's go ahead and uh, write some code. <clears throat> let's get through. And so we want to ask the user uh, how many fruits they want to buy. So we're going to go let uh, num frizz equal okay and that's my variable and then the variable that i want to store is user input and i want to store it as an integer because i'm going to do math i'm going to multiply how many they purchase by the number 15. so i need to put read int and then you can say how many do you want or just put how many okay so make sure that you have read int because if you don't have read int, it's not going to work uh so let num fr frisbee or let num frizz equal read int how many and then what we want to do is we want to run some math <clears throat> that's going to multiply cost of frisbee by 15. so what we need to do is we need to create a new variable uh so i will go let answer equal and then I want to figure out the cost of the Frisbee times however many they get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say, well, whatever they, whatever number they put in will be saved as an integer and saved in this uh, variable. So I want to use this variable down here. So the answer is going to equal whatever is stored in number Frizz times the cost of the Frisbee. And what will happen is it is going to capture this answer is going to do that math for us. And so we've created a variable that essentially just holds the uh, the value by the uh, user times the constant of the Frisbee. And so then we will print line uh, the total price is and then we would add it to with the variable answer. Now notice that when I do this, uh, there's not a space here. And so it's going to give the number of the, the answer right next to the word is. So I'm going to go here and go, how many? Two. It says the price is 30. So what you want to do in order to get rid of that is you have to create the literal space. Because remember, this is going to print it exactly literally how it is. And so you have to have the space there for it now to run and go, the price is 30, okay? I look at my test cases. The only thing I'm missing is a semicolon on six. Check code again, and I'm good to go.